Melanie here with Eyes on the Game, being joined by the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Miss Holly Holm. Um, now you are fighting Amanda Nunes for the Bantamweight title this weekend. What would it mean for you to win it once again? You know, uh, it's something that's been on my heart to want to get back and get it. I knew that getting back to get it would be a lot of hard work and, you know, be putting myself out there and uh, taking on the best. And so I'm just excited to do that. I'm excited that I have the opportunity and I'm excited that I, I can go out there and just uh, make this happen. Now, another huge fight for you. What would it mean for you to win it from Amanda Nunes compared to when you won it over Ronda Rousey? It's just a totally different feeling, a totally different time. Um, you know, I got to get the belt when nobody else could even get close to it, and so that was a huge moment for me. But um, I knew after that fight that it's just going to keep going and going. You know, uh, there's always somebody that's coming in, always somebody that's proving that, you know, they're learning as well and getting better as well. And uh, to be able to go back and, and retain the belt again is just a whole new experience for this fight, and I'm just excited for it. Now, obviously, you are a great striker, you know, boxing background, kickboxing background. Amanda Nunes is known for her striking as well, but what do you make of her striking? You know, I think she's got a well-rounded game. She's got striking, she's got grappling, she's got, you know, she's also got some judo background. She's got a lot, so uh, I feel like she's going to be a threat everywhere, and we're ready for all of it. How do you think she compares to, you know, some of the other opponents that you fought? I, she's a totally different game. She's... Um, She's a little bit longer, um, you know, not necessarily, uh, you know, the, the reach advantage and everything. I feel like her and I are real similar in size, and she's got, her experiences have brought her to where she's at, and that's a different experience, a uh, different fighter. Um, I mean, it's, it's a totally different person that I face. Now, lastly, uh, Dana White has said that he hopes to get more into boxing, you know, make that big announcement by the end of the summer. And obviously you have that big boxing background. Would that be something that would interest you to get back into? You know, I just follow my heart and follow what my passion is. And the reason why I left boxing to come to MMA is because I was passionate about MMA. And I feel like that's where I'm still at. So uh, I don't think there'd be any, like, real experience that would make me go back to boxing unless I just started to feel that burn for it again. So I think I'm, I think I'm just uh, here with MMA, but you know, yeah, I don't know. And prepared. Yeah, I am prepared for Saturday night. What would you like to tell all your fans? Thank you so much to all the fans. You know, uh, there is a true love and appreciation for all of you.